Hello everyone, welcome back. At long last, it's Space Engineers Plus Me, episode 60. I'm Enigmius, and today we're going to get a look at things, the way they're going to look when they're uh, basically finished. We're not quite done, but we're getting much, much closer. Sooner or later, uh, it'll be inevitable that we're going to be on our way to the Mars planet. The Mars-like planet up there and its moon. And then we're going to build a station just outside of its atmosphere, and we're going to build big ships, and it's going to be fantastic. But, but before we do that, we have to finish up what we're doing down here, which I decided, uh, given the, the situation with the game the last week, uh, would include recovering as many materials as we could from ships that we're not going to be able to take with us, the Dauntless being one of them. There's a lot of machines in here. There's a lot of conveyors in here. There's still some thrusters left on the ship. We've recovered a lot of them, but there's still some on the underside, and I think there's at least a couple up top. And then there's all the steel plates, plates tied up in the hull blocks that we can recover. And I've been testing our low profile uh, construction ship and I really like the concept of the low profile. And we're definitely going to be redoing uh, that style of ship. But we have to fix the, the storage issues because right now it's, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get materials uh, into and out of the inventories. That's neither here nor there. We'll probably do an episode on that when we're actually building the new ship. For now, when I say I'm going to gut a ship, I gut a ship. We've eviscerated this poor girl, uh, and we have access to all the middle stuff. And the whole idea behind that is I wanted to be able to get in there and grab all the components and materials because we're going to need them over here to finish welding up the last of the drills on the drill ship. We've made progress in that regard. Everything else is gone off the surface of the lake. The three mining outposts, the uh, testing support gantry, that we had built where we did the proof of concept um, lowering mechanism. That's all gone. Everything that's over here, uh, the, the canary is gone. It's crazy, all the stuff that we've been getting rid of. Uh, all that's left on the ice is the Spirit Platinum or the, the Spirit Omni. And our construction ship is parked on top of that. We've got the prototype for the track ship so that if we need to make some changes uh, and we can get a blueprint off that a little bit easier than we can off of this one. We've got the drill ship and uh, we've got the, uh, the little tab here that we're going to be using as a secondary blueprint. Once the track ship is in place and welded and everything is happy with that, we'll replace the blueprint with the, the tab so that it's not such an eyesore when the track ship starts getting lowered and the projection remains where it is. So that's something that I wanted to keep in mind. Now there were a number of things that we had to do <laughs> in order to get this whole thing together. We've got all these different ships that are attached to one another for a variety of different purposes. We've got the Atlas itself and then to the Atlas is attached the track ship and then to the track ship is basically suspended the drill ship or from the track ship I guess I should say is, is suspended the drill ship and in order to get the drill ship onto the track ship because of the height of everything we actually had to lift the chassis of the Atlas up a couple of blocks which is nothing new we've already been messing around with that uh, we encountered some wheel damage and the only way to repair it at the time was to lift the whole chassis up off the ground so that we could you know weld in new new wheels and repair all the things that needed repairing the difficulty with that setup in terms of what we were trying to do here is that the pistons were closer towards the inside of the ship so when you've got a ship that's this size and then from that ship you've got a great big arm that comes out here and then it's dangling two more fairly bulky ships if the pistons are too close to the middle the whole ship wants to lean because the weight I mean it makes perfect sense there's nothing surprising about it um, so we had to move the pistons to the outside I realized after the fact that this would probably be even better if I replaced the bottom two blast door blocks with landing gears because then we could actually lock them in place once everything is lifted the way that we want them to be and everything will work uh, that much better and in fact while mining you could lock the whole thing in place lift the whole thing up off the ground so you're not worried about what's happening with the weight of the ship the stuff that you're gathering and processing relative to what the wheels can hold you're just gathering stuff it's all being suspended up in the air and then you process it and then you lower it down and you move the ship and everybody's happy so that's something that we can keep in mind a minor change for later on right now we have to wait until the pistons are retracted before we can get under there and swap these out with anything after that, it was just a matter of getting the drill ship threaded onto the track ship again. We've done that several times now, and you can see even now, if you look 
down at the underside, just below those drills, you can see the landing gear and it's lit up to indicate that it's in close proximity to the ground. It's basically sitting on the ground. That's how close it was in terms of getting everything to fit. I mean, barely, barely got it on there. But it is on there. For the time being, we're going to leave the landing gears on and see how they do. If they're fine the, the way that they are right now, we're just going to leave them there. If it appears as though they're interfering with the ability of the ship to move smoothly back and forth, we can always grind them off and just go with the drills as they are. So there's a total of 45 drills, which is a lot. Uh, some servers won't even allow you to have that many drills in operation across your entire operation. Uh, you know, all the different things that you own. In this case... Playing single player, my only consideration is whether or not the game still functions properly with this many drills running, but we'll see. This is what I envisioned when I had this whole thing in the back of my mind. So we're going to see it, we're going to create it the way I saw it, and then make adjustments as necessary as we go along. So we've got three rows of 15 each. There's a lot of materials that go into each of these drills in terms of the volume which meant a lot of trips to and from inventories, refilling my personal inventory, the 4,000 liters I'm allowed to carry on my person to weld these things up. So I've decided that rather than all of that nonsense, once we're done grinding a bunch of the stuff out of the middle of the Dauntless, we're just going to swap over the, the tools on our construction ship and weld it from the materials that we get out of the Dauntless. It'll be much quicker and easier that way. So that's what we'll be doing. And then we're going to do the original testing of the drill ship interacting with the track ship with working drills and then use the uh, pistons that are holding up the chassis to simulate the lowering of the drill, sh drill ship when it's time for uh, a couple of blocks worth just so that we can make sure that that's working and then if that's working then we can start testing the, the gantry to actually lower the whole thing once that works, if it works we'll be off to Mars so, I mean, the list of things that we have to do before we go is getting much, much, much shorter. Now that everything is basically assembled, we have to do the last bit of welding, the last bit of testing. We know that the drill ship works as far as we've tested it. We know that the gantry worked uh, as far as we've tested it. It's just a matter of making sure that everything works together and everything works after all of the changes that we've made to it when we've had a chance to look back on how we set things up and said, hey, maybe we'll try this. It'll be a little bit better. Sometimes it's not a little bit better, <laughs> but we'll find out. So that's what I've been working on. And it's it's taken a long time, but it's nice to finally see how everything is going to fit together. So the next episode, you're going to see what this thing looks like, not only what this looks like, <laughs> but what the ground looks like after it's had a chance to do a couple of passes with all the drills going, going the full length of the track ship, uh, one thing that we have to be careful of is to make sure that the inventory is being transferred properly. Uh, once you get to the end of the track, we've got this connector that should be connecting with this connector and passing the stuff all the way up through and then along there into the storage containers on the Atlas. We have to make sure that's working properly because if this thing starts filling up with the container inside without transferring its inventory when it gets to each end of the track, uh, catastrophe in the making, I guarantee you. So we, we, we need to be careful that that's working the way that it's supposed to. Again, this is something that we already tested with the drill ship and it was working fine. We just have to make sure that it continues to do so once we've got the drills dangling off the end and, uh, and doing what the drills are supposed to be doing. So next episode, uh, expect to see something that looks like something that has been working and is almost ready to go to Mars. I would so love to just be on our way to Mars right now. That would be such a treat. So if you want to be notified when I add that video, the easiest way to do that is to subscribe to my channel or follow me on social media. Links for social media are always in the information box below the video. Feel free to leave your comments and feedback. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care. Hey.